Rick, you're a soccer guy. You played at the University of Vancouver, British Columbia. You played professionally in Vancouver. Uh, even represented Team Canada in your in your youth. Your wife Robin, uh, also a college soccer player. Yet all three of your sons are hockey players, and your daughter is a tennis player. Yeah, we failed miserably. <laughs> I thought we had a chance at least one of them uh, becoming a soccer player, but. Um... I mean, growing up in, in Canada, obviously, it's just you just immerse in, in the hockey scene. And the boys played soccer uh, right up until sort of that, that age around, you know, 12, 13, where things get a little bit more serious in, in any sport. And, and so then they had to make a, a decision. Um, but uh, they played soccer for most of their, their youth. So I, I attribute a lot of their their athleticism to, to the game of soccer. <laughs> so soccer still getting some credit there. Right. You've lived in the Bay Area, Livermore now, Willow Glen before, uh, since the Warriors hired you in 2018. Uh, both Aiden and Macklin played with the Junior Sharks. Your youngest, RJ, is now playing on a Tri-Valley team. When you were a kid in Vancouver, growing up in the 70s, playing hockey and soccer, could you have imagined such strong youth hockey programs in Northern California as there are now? No, you're right. I mean, I, I think it's uh, it's great to see the game grow, and, and especially in, in California. I mean, obviously, uh, the great one, Wayne Gretzky, had a lot to do with that, the influence that he had. Um, but to, to see it at the grassroots level and all the way up to the professional level, to see the support and the and the uh, passion that the game is um, is reaching here is it's is fun to see. And that, of course, is a testament to the San Jose Sharks here, too, and their success and the Junior Sharks. Macklin, as we know, is projected to be the number one pick of the 2024 draft. He played just one year with the Junior Sharks, 2019-20, before he moved to Shattuck St. Mary's. That was, of course, the premier hockey prep program in the U.S. Sidney Crosby played there. But what did that one year with the Junior Sharks, how did that impact Macklin's trajectory? I think it's fantastic. You know, it's, it's a different experience. First of all, just a change of scenery. You know, sometimes you get a little bit too comfortable being in the same uh, place, that being Vancouver, as he kind of grew up um, through his early years. But to to um, come to a different environment, uh, different challenges, different way of doing things, I think that helped him, you know, mature and adapt and, and grow. The people that were around the Junior Sharks did a wonderful job of supporting him and, and teaching him. And, and, you know, there's something to be gained and learned um, every step of the way. And I think um, the Junior Sharks provided a you know a really good step for, for both the boys. And uh, speaking of uh, RJ, you know, how is hockey growing in a Tri-Valley? Because you think about hockey in the Bay Area, it's Sharks, Sharks, Sharks. But for him to be playing on in a Tri-Valley team around Livermore, that's a testament to how hockey has grown beyond just the Sharks in San Jose and the Bay Area, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're, we're fortunate. We, we live about eight minutes from the rink here in, in Tri-Valley. and. Phil, shout out to him. He's just a phenomenal um, person, first and foremost, and, and hockey coach. And, and uh, what he's done for not just RJ, but but all three of the boys uh, is just um, been so appreciated. And he's, he's sort of been this uh, this resource, you know, in the Bay Area for us since the boys, since we got here, that, that's just been invaluable. And I know it's an honor to be drafted by any NHL team. You can't play favorites. Of course, Aiden was drafted by your hometown Vancouver Canucks. But how cool would it be for Macklin Celebrini to be drafted by the San Jose Sharks to be close to family? It'd be amazing. We, we talk about it all the time. You know, we, we try not to, to go there either because, like you said, it's out of our hands and, and you really don't want to be disappointed either. But as a family, it would be unbelievable to have him here with us in the Bay where we can help him and support him at different times. And, and uh, you know, as you mentioned earlier, I think the game of hockey is, is just really ready to take off here uh, in the Bay and, and uh, uh, you know, for him to, you know, to hopefully contribute to that, um, that build would be, uh, would be really fun to be a part of. <laughs>